Terence Crawford, too little, too late. No options left. Where does he go from here? Let's talk about that. Welcome back to Boxing Arm Rap. If you're new here, please like and subscribe down below. Comment. I take all criticism seriously. I'm an artist. I sometimes share this art on this platform and I analyze boxing because it's one of my favorite things to do. Now, let's talk about Terrence Crawford. Oh, and oh, please, please do subscribe. I'm trying to hit 500 um, subs. Um, my road to 1,000. So any help I can get, I greatly appreciate it. And anything you want to see on this channel, let me know. Um, yeah, so let's go back to Terrence Crawford. Now, Terrence Crawford... As you can see in these clips, he's a dog. There's no, no denying his talent. He's a dog. He's probably the best fighter pound for pound right now fighting um, actively. But he's damn near 40. And but the thumbnail, that's not even all the people that he could have fought and now doesn't have the options to. You know, Teofimo Lopez, well, that's going to take way too long to negotiate for too little, little bit of money. Would it be a great fight? Of course it would. It's not going to happen. We all heard that Errol Spence Jr. fight is off. That would have been his highest paid, says Canelo. Canelo fight is off. Canelo said, I'm not fighting that guy. He's too little. I get no credit. Got it. He said he won't fight Jamal Charlo. So we're not going to see Jamal either. He doesn't want to deal. He doesn't want to go up, I guess, to 154. Tim Sue, same thing, right? 154 doesn't, they don't want to go up. So it is what it is. Thurman moving up to fight Tim Zoo. So he, Th Thurman, out of the question, right? It's not gonna, could have done it at 147, out of the question. Coming up to 154 for definitely. Okay. So who's left? Who's left? You got Boots. He doesn't want to fight Boots. High risk, low reward. No draw. All right. So then who's, who, who is actually left? No one. No one is left. Now, I mean, I could be missing some people. But there's no one actually left, right? So, and everybody who he doesn't want to fight because he, you know, he's outpricing himself. You're not going to get $20 million to fight Tiamu Fimo Lopez. You're not going to get $20 million for fighting Boots. You're not going to get $20 million for fighting Zoo. You're 37 years old. Damn near. Um, you're at the end of your career. At any moment now, Father of Time could hit. And you're going to fight anybody younger than you and it's over. Right? That's not worth, that's not worth the risk. Right? So if you fight Boots... That night, you could literally turn old and Boots can beat the brakes off you. Now for what? Now you ain't get a big payday. Canelo said he's not fighting you, so it doesn't. now you're really not going to get that big payday. So what's left? This is what happens when, one, you don't promote yourself. And two, when you re-sign with a promoter who had no real interest in you and gave you a bargain bin deal. Now with his bargain bin deal, mind you, is millions of dollars. I don't have that. He does. But in comparison to other people, that was Bob Aaron's biggest thing. He doesn't engage. He doesn't promote himself. He's a hell of a fighter. He's one of the greats, but he doesn't engage. Now we're here. Now we're here where a great fighter can't get a great fight and can't get a great payday. He's literally painted himself into a corner and he has to wait for the paint to dry in order to cross over. Our problem is that he is too old to wait that long for that paint to dry, to cross over. He should have done that a long time ago if you were going to paint yourself into a corner. It should have been out there like Money Mayweather did when he made that switch, literally like a wrestling uh, heel and turned face and just said, all right, you know what? I'm going to get paid by being the bad guy. Young though, not old. By this time, Mayweather was beyond paid. Beyond paid. None of his pay-per-views went over anything. Like he doesn't. He's not a draw. Nobody says, "I need. I'm gonna go and buy this pay-per-view with Terence Crawford tonight, fighting X fighter." All the while, Errol Spence, he fought the Danny Garcias. He fought the, the other Garcia, whose first name escapes me. Uh, you know, he fought Ugas. He was going to fight Manny Pacquiao. Um, 
his resume was it was getting filled with names. He shot for Sean Porter first. Um, you know, he went over and and, and he fought the the English guy. You know, the, I forget his name too. Uh, one eye Willie. You know, he got both eyes cracked. One by Gennady and one by him. Um, took his IBF. So he went and he got those belts and he was drawing 330,000 pay-per-view buys with those guys. So really, the fact that it didn't even reach a million when Crawford fought Errol, is all Errol bringing in those people. It's not really Bud at all. So you remain a no draw and you have no opponent. That is a travesty to his legacy and all to his own doing. They didn't promote himself, they didn't engage, they didn't want to be out there claiming it's not his personality. Well, my friend, now you're stuck. You want to cash out, but you can't. I hope he does. I hope he does get a big fight. I don't know who the big fight might be. I really don't know. I can't see it. He's he's long in the tooth. He takes care of himself. He's a dog, but he's long in the tooth. And one of these young guys are going to catch up to him if he takes the risk. And that's what he knows, too, and doesn't want to take that risk. I understand it, but it's far too little far too late so you know let me know in the comments below what do you think who do you think he should fight who do you think is a big draw for him that's going to yield him 10 million dollar purse 15 million dollar purse right now besides Earl Spence Jr let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one